I think the discovery of FOXP2 was important because it opened a little window to give us an insight as to um, how genes could influence our uh, speech and language. But it's by no means um, the end of the road, it's only the beginning. And in fact, as we understand more and more about the functions of FOXP2, we realize that um, there are many other genes that are regulated by it and interacting with it. And I think that in the future, we will find that um, speech and language and other cognitive functions like uh, perception, memory, are really um, reflections of human beings' um, higher cognitive function and that they emerge from a basic genetically driven mechanism that in interaction with the environment enables us to communicate the light within each one of us. It's an oversimplification to say that a gene specifically codes for language because language is so much more than um, what we say. It's also a reflection of what we think and how we feel and how our thoughts are transmitted to other people. So um, it's not due to one gene, but it really arises from interactions of many genes that make it possible for us to communicate our thoughts into words. Well, um, language is a very complex thing. It requires a lot of different parts of your brain, of your jaw, of your vocal cords, all to work together at the same time. And the cognitive ability of humans to produce language is unique. At the same time, we know that brains are built on previous versions uh, and so the genes which um, help the brain develop are going to be conserved in other species. So genes that are involved in language probably have a similar function in other species. Except for the uh, really simple phenotypes like, you know, I don't know, like eye color. And even there it's complicated to speak about, you know, genes that only do a single thing. Uh, when it comes to really complicated, complex phenotypes like, you know, cognition, language, and so on and so on, what you usually have is multiple genes that do something, but usually they do more than that. So that's one reason. And the other reason is that usually not evolution doesn't select a single gene to do a single thing. Usually you have this complicated genetic background that is selected together to do multiple things, language among them.